And two ranchers came from Canada, and I tell you what, I got them born again and baptized in the Holy Ghost in my pickup. Glory to God, they're speaking in tongues. And man, they went back and we became friends. And one day I got a telephone call. They said, Dave, we believe God wants you to come to Canada and, and have a miracle service. I said, what? Miracle service? Yeah. Boy. And, mm. and they said, we're going to buy your ticket. Mm. <laughs> June, Canada. Fishing. Mm. I said, how big's your church? She said, about 30 people. I thought, oh, man, I think I can do this. I think I can preach John 3.16 three different times. <laughs> Can't preach it the same. Anyway, I, I went, and I found out something. The further you get away from the house, the bigger shot people think you are. <laughs> you got to get away from the house. I became a world evangelist, 1,300 miles. They picked me up, we're headed out about four hours to go to this meeting, and we're talking about cows and all this stuff, and there's a local newspaper. I picked it up and looked at it, and third page, full page ad. Bring the blind, the lame, and the dumb. I thought, I wonder who's coming to town. Maybe I'll go to his meeting and find something out. And on the bottom it said, Evangelist Dave Dewell. I about passed out. I said, you advertise this? Oh, yeah, we've had it in the paper all week. Radio two weeks. Boy, this fear came over me. I said, I am not ready. I am not ready. Really, guys, I want to go home. I don't want to go to that meeting. It scared the fire out of me. Oh, man. Yeah, this is the way the church is taught. Have you ever heard this... Uh, Little saying, one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to go. Heard that? This is the way the church teaches it. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, four to get ready, five to get ready, six to get ready, seven to get ready. And nobody goes. We're all getting ready. We're ready. Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, man. Boom. You're a believer loaded with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Glory to God, you don't need a title. Hallelujah. Yeah. Boy, I, I, I told those guys, don't talk to me. And I reached in my briefcase and got my Bible and it turned blurry on me. I couldn't see a thing. <laughs> Glory to God, I started praying in emergency tongues. Glory to God. <laughs> and I said, God, please don't let anybody come. You know I can't preach. Oh, Jesus, nobody come. We go to the meeting, it's packed out. <laughs> Looks like a Billy Graham crusade. <laughs> Parking lot's packed. I thought, oh God, there's gotta be people in there. <laughs> well, we come in the back, I peek through the door like that and they're standing around the walls to see the world healing evangelists. Only testimonies I got, Bessie got healed and Rambo and things <laughs> oh, gee. Ah. I closed the door and said, boys, I can't go in. My knees are having fellowship with each other. I just, <laughs> man, I'll tell you what, I was scared, boy. I said, I can't go in, man. I really want to go home. And you know a cowboy's disposition. They op one opened the door and the other <laughs> boy kicked me in. And, And the platform was this high. <laughs> and I had to walk up this platform, and as I was walking up, I heard a guy behind me said, I think he's crippled. <laughs> I barely made the chair. Oh, I said, God, this, the whole town is here. Please, God, don't let anybody be sick. Oh, Jesus, don't let anybody be sick. And I said, just in case, let's start off with headaches. <laughs> nothing serious, God, nothing serious. No, 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 nothing. You know, I'm, how many of you know God doesn't listen to a prayer like that? <laughs> well, the singing went way too fast. 
and they're calling for the world evangelist. I barely made it. Thank God it wasn't like this. Because if it was, they would have seen me go like this. I was hung and hanging on this thing. I had three messages prepared, preached them all in two minutes. I'm in trouble. Boy, my mind got confused. I thought the epistles were the wives of the apostles. <laughs> third John on the third floor. I tell you what. Oh, man. I told myself, Self, tell him a Bible story. And the only one I could think is some guy up a tree. <laughs> and I had a little vision. It was me. And I could see Jesus say, come down, Dave, I'm coming to your head. Man, I'll tell you what, it was something else. Glory to God. And so I was up in Canada, and uh, boy, I was telling this guy, and uh, I was just looking if I had a copy of that. I, I guess I don't have it, but man, I'll tell you what. Thank God I didn't. I, I was going to tell you a little what I preached, but it's, it was one of the funniest tapes you've ever heard. Glory to God. <laughs> I can remember about the Good Samaritan. I can remember that much. And, uh, and, you know, and they took him to the inn, but the innkeeper said there's no room for him in the inn. So <laughs> they took him out back and wrapped him in swaddling clothes. And, and uh, after he got healed, he headed for Tarshish. <laughs> and then when he got to Tarshish, he boarded a ship, and he's on the ship, and he looked down and saw a fish with a coin in his mouth. <laughs> and he said, render into Caesar that which is Caesar. And just then, he thought he could walk on water. He fell overboard, and the fish swallowed him. And he was in the belly of that fish three days and three nights, and because he was neither hot nor cold, the fish got up on dry ground and spewed him out. <laughs> That's enough of that, me. Anyway. <laughs> so I said, anybody sick here? And I told God, I'll give him 10 seconds. So I was counting backwards, 10, 9, 8, that was a miracle. And I got to two, and I'm thinking, thank you, Jesus, that nobody's sick here. I'm ready to close the meeting and let Harold come up. And I see some movement over here. See, you don't want to go like that, because everybody will look. So I just kind of danced over there. And I went, <laughs> this woman struggling to get out of her chair with crutches with a woman on each side. And I said, oh, no. I hope she's going to the toilet. <laughs> But she didn't go that way, they led her this way, and I'm looking, she's blind. Crutches, blind. And they led her up to me. And I looked down and said, what's wrong with you? <laughs> she goes, multiple sclerosis. Man, I knew it was bad. I could see what it did with her. You know, I come off a ranch. I know about mastitis, but I don't know about this. <laughs> Yeah, glory to God. So, I, I thought to myself, this is what I'm going to say. Multiple sclerosis, would you please come out? <laughs> but I've never been in this position before. You don't need this with a cow or whatever. Something went off right here. <laughs> Holy Ghost turbocharger. That thing wound up in me and I become like another man. I didn't care about me anymore. Instead of whispering, I said, And my ears said, You're yelling, Dave. You're yelling. <laughs> and I said, Come out of her. And instead of laying hands on her, whack, I smack her. And the audience went, oh, he hit the lady. I had to put my hand in my pocket. Now, you got to remember something. She was blind and didn't see it coming. <laughs> Boy, 
oh, and her little head swung around. All at once, she head went up and her little eyes are blinking. And her blind eyes opened. And she went, ah! Scared me so bad, I went, ah! Right back at her. And the crutches fell. She took off running. Whoa, glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Man, I leaped off of there and we're running. Glory to God. <laughs> we made some passes and then she ran out of there two blocks home, told her husband. I stayed. Walked back up on the platform. Anybody else sick here? <laughs> They lined up. I'm not kidding. I run along there, nicking them on the nose. <laughs> I think Jesus healed everybody in the house. That'd mess you up. I lost all interest in cows after that. <laughs> Glory to God. I just tell you that God can use you and work through you, I should say. He's just looking for anybody. Glory to God, it's not on your knowledge. Man, it's just being obedient, willing. Man, that's amazing. 